Well, hey everybody. Welcome back to Northern Lion Plays, The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. We're due for a nice old sensible run here in Sensible Town. What about the last run, NL? What are you talking about? We don't speak of the last run! We were all at a nice picnic. WTNV9M6Z. One of the rare times we see a streak actually get to minus one, but... You know, if you... Ooh, early sad bombs. If you go back and watch that episode, you will figure out why we got to, um... Minus one. I'm not saying it's not my fault. I'm just saying it's, uh... It was a novel run. With a lot of ups and downs. A little Lilith, a little Keeper, a little Lazarus, a lot of Lazarus, and then an unfortunate death. Thanks to Guppy's Collar doing dang old nothing for us. Either way, um... We're the last man, and when the last man's testify, and I didn't mean to pick up that spear at heart, actually. The greater man believes that he can bring you into paradise, or bring it to you. Anyway, um, oh, rag man, was that the Lisa Simpson jazz man song about Bleeding Gums Murphy from The Simpsons? Of course it was. There's no better time early on, I think, to use sad bombs than to kill Ragman. Um, I'm gonna look for spikes, maybe, and then kill ourselves, come back, hopefully be able to take an advantage out of that. Uh, I recognize that we shouldn't have picked up the Spirit Heart. That was just, you know, in the process of dodging, I got myself stuck up there. We're gonna look for Spirit Hearts, we're gonna look for money, and we should be able to, uh, finagle a Spirit Heart on this floor, which would be well worth, uh, Investing in, I think. This isn't going to help, unfortunately. But there are opportunities for us to at least uh, get our HP low here. So I'll probably go down to... I'm going to go down to one heart regardless here. Like, just by hurting myself, I'm going to go down to one heart. And then we'll leave, and I might pick up this for now. Because we'll still die at one heart if we use a bomb. Um, I just wanted to create a situation in which we could conceivably kill ourselves on this floor if we wanted to. Uh, and, and now we certainly can. Dude, he's faking me out. You gotta let me out of this spot, dude. That's like a rule. It's like in boxing, you can't keep your opponent just tied up on the ropes. Grab another bomb. I do want to peep the obvious secret room location here. What? <sighs> Well then, this is going to be the secret room location, but I want to see if there's a spirit heart for purchase in here first. Which there is, so we will place a bomb here. And we want to take advantage of the, uh, of the fire. So we'll do this, kill ourselves, come back as Lazarus, grab the spirit heart, um, come in here, grab this item, hopefully it's HP or DPS. It is super bandage. That was the right decision in the end. Even though it might have seemed a little fucky in the process, I think in the end that ended up being the right way to handle things. Which is dope. So, really, um, we have the latent potential of sad bombs that I have squandered for myself, uh, at least temporarily. And we have anemic. And we have a lot of HP. And a luck stat that is not quite as horrid as it used to be. So, this is, as, as weird as it looked, this is pretty much a textbook Lazarus start at this point. So, we're, uh... We're in this to win this, and I think that we handled the little Lazarus starting puzzle fairly well. Okay, we will take Mom's Knife. And if we're going to take Mom's Knife, we really should try to handle this puzzle pretty well as well. So that should get some payout. It's a pill. I'm not going to take that yet. I am going to go a little dangerous here. I think I can afford to leave myself with one Spirit Heart. Okay, we'll take Faded Polaroid. We're gonna take this, because we can. We're gonna take this, because we can. And then we're gonna take the pill, which is puberty. Then we're gonna shoot these. So we're real low on HP. And this is dicier than I probably should have gone. We're gonna get, oh God, I totally forgot about that. <laughs> a little scary. However, we still have uh, Mom's Knife. So we should be relatively strong. Kind of feel like we should just go fight the boss right away. I mean, this little horn. I totally... Thank God I left myself with at least as much HP as we had. Because I was totally gonna just, um, you know, go for it and forget that we were in a curse room. Now, mind you, that's not to say it would have been necessarily the kiss of death. Because we could have gotten ceremonial robes. Um, or, you know, missing page two or something like that, maybe. But... It certainly uh, would have been scary. We, we definitely made the right call 
um, accidentally. Even though it was an accident, it was the right call. We're in a really good spot now, though. Like, obviously, HP uh, is something that we are concerned about and should be concerned about if we have a rational mind. Uh, but apart from that, damage is off the charts. And we even got some sand bombs back. So we're going to look through uh, these rooms and hopefully find an opportunity to get a tinted rock. But this really could be a quite an easy run after the relative madness of the last one. And Degas is pretty dope. We'll see if we can get, uh, you know, double value out of it by... Uh, being able to blow up a or, uh, ruin a curse that they give us on the next floor. Sad bombs, mom's knife. Oh, there is a tinted rock in there. Oh, sure, I'll go to the shop and try to buy a spirit heart. That's on me. We still got good value out of the bomb that we placed, but uh, a three cent to a spades, well worth it. And then a five cent bomb, and then we could use that bomb there, but I don't think that's a good idea. And the reason I did this is not even for the Spirit Heart. It's for the Spirit Heart and the Small Rock chance. So if you can give me Small Rock or Spirit Hearts, I'd be thrilled. Ended up working out very well. Okay, so now we're rolling. Any curse at all, and we're popping the gaz. If we don't get any curses, we're not going to pop the gaz. We're just going to hold it until we need it for something. Curse of the Blind is a curse that I feel good about purging. Fantastic. So this should be, uh, at this point... A good opportunity to get our sea legs back underneath us. You know, last run, on an average Isaac run, you know, you're tethered to reality. Not in like a, a just finish taking, you know, 100 micrograms of psychedelics sort of way, you know. But more um, in the sort of way that like, you know, you have a set of rules and codified plans. A framework by which you live your Isaac life. Uh, the last run did away with that normal human construct and said, you're in my world now. Yeah, beat it. Classic. Defias ringleader reference. Either way, um, it's a revelation to be on a run that's like a little bit more sensible and, and sane. Um, and I'm excited to be here. Even if it's probably a little bit on the easy side right now, I'm, I'm happy to at least have like an idea of where I want this run to go in the future. And even though it's super simple... And we may end up indeed having Guppy and Mom's Knife. It's good to be home. And we can start out, you know, some fun stuff here. One bomb or one key. I think it's more worth a key at this point. Betrayal is a deal with the Devil item, but it's it's pretty bad. It's a deal with the Devil item that, that doesn't deserve the, uh, you know, instant praise a lot of deal with the Devil items get. What more do we need on this run? Honestly, not a whole heck of a lot. This is like the perfect palate cleanser after the last run. Yeah, I think the last run... It's probably going to end up being more entertaining if I may, you know, ruin the value proposition for you watching this run and increasing my viewer retention, uh, thereby raising me up in the search rankings on YouTube and, uh, you know, eventually contributing to me purchasing my own small island in the year 2058. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Excuse Thank you. Um, which you're all invited to, by the way, if we're still alive. We probably will be. We'll probably all live forever by that point, as I've talked about ad nauseum. But, um... That run will probably end up being more entertaining because the run that we just had was probably like, you know, top 2% most entertaining runs. Like that, Certainly, that's like a once a month sort of entertainment value for a run. Um, this run just looks nice. I mean, it's nice to kill enemies quickly. As much as I would love to be like, yeah, give me the hard shit. I kind of am really happy to not have the hard shit on this run. I'm ready for some soft shit, if I'm being quite honest. You know, you've given me some... Hard cheddar. Now I'll take my brie. I wouldn't mind car battery. And by wouldn't mind, I mean like would love. Is of course what I meant when I said that. Um, don't really want Krampus's head. I think we're just going to leave. It's fine. You know, it would be good to get car battery. But in the end, it doesn't really matter. As Linkin Park said. And this could end up being a sub 30 minute run without a doubt. Actually, Mom's Knife is one of the items that makes me the most likely to fight Hush, I would say. So, I'm not saying we will fight Hush. I'm just saying there's a chance. Play this guy twice. Um, I thought maybe we couldn't get hit if we went to him with Faded Polaroid. Obviously, that's not true. But, it, you know, that's one of those things. I use Faded Polaroid approximately once every never. So, uh, it's good to figure out synergies with this trinket. I imagine if, if it was... If you could use it for that, people would have told me by now. Because, you know, I, I get tweeted a lot of, like... And this is true. I get tweeted a lot of Isaac interactions on a daily basis. People are like, you didn't know that if you have Karma and, you know, Blank Card Yara, you can get Infinite Yaras or something? You know, it, that's just an example that is not actually true. But 
I imagine at some point someone would have been like, stop shit-talking Faded Polaroid, you can use it to play Blood Banks and Demon Judgments for free. But I like Faded Polaroid. I guess it, it just makes it so enemies don't aggro you. It doesn't make it so you're immune to enemy damage, right? So I, I was operating under a fundamental misconception that now we've cleared up and I feel like I've learned something on this run. We also found our secret room and we're going to get some money out of it, which is always welcome. And by get some money, I mean get no money. We do get counterfeit penny, but you know, let's roll faded Polaroid. One of the things I like to do lately is try to, you know, experience a little bit of a wider world of trinkets than we otherwise do. Of course, that's all going to fall by the wayside if we get like, uh... If we get Curved Horn, it's just the greatest trinket money can buy. Cancer Trinket maybe as well. Uh, don't really have anything to say to defend myself for that one. That was pretty terrible. Throw a bomb down here. Spirit Hearts, please. It's a golden chest. I'm also very okay with that. Oh, the enemies all get confused when Faded Polaroid pops off too. Well, we'll pick up Magic Fingers and then we'll get down to reroll in here. Let's not use bombs until we have to. Yeah, Midas Touch is good enough. And a spirit heart out of our Tinted Rock after all. Midas Touch is useless in like so many situations that it's almost like in my head I'm like they should buff, they should make it just give it like a mild buff. Just give it like piggy bank where it gets three cents uh, or you get three cents I should say when you pick it up. But it's so good in the situations that it's good in that I really can't feel good about suggesting that buff because it's just all... I mean, three cents in the, in the end if magic... or uh, sorry, if um, if Midas Touch ends up working for you, it's not gonna make... you're not gonna be like, wow, thank god I got that extra three cents because you're already gonna be like, you know, running into enemies with Unicorn Stump every single room and just, you know, crushing it. Mom Transformation gets closer thanks to that, but apart from that, relatively bad, honestly. Uh, I'm going to try to get some HP back from this Blood Bank. We got a Spirit Heart. I think I'm going to try to get the Demon Judgment to pay out again, because I'm an idiot who never learns. But either way, I will be taking Succubus. So we have to leave ourselves like at least one Spirit Heart here. I hope we get a payout early. We did not. Let's take this first, and then take the pill. Not bad trip. I think one and a half Spirit Hearts is about where I feel comfortable, so I'll go one level deeper here. Oh, uh, Happy's wrong again. That's not, that's two different Adam Sandler movies mer merged together. No, Coach Klein, you're wrong. Wait, that's actually the same movie, but two different parts from it merged together. That's my mistake. All right. Well, the real bummer there is that I... Squeeze me? The real bummer there is that I took so much damage that I was unable to play that Demon Judgment to fruition. And at this point, the narrative is definitely going to be, if we lose this run... Hey, idiot, why'd you play all those demon judgments? It wasn't just to be like, you know, I'm dumb and I lose. There was really, like, a good reason um, to play them. There was a reasonable chance that I apologize for. There was a reasonable chance for, for them to pay out. Uh, and the fact that both of them didn't pay out, I would go so far as to say that's mildly unlucky. I can see you in the comments right now. I hear you, Tomo. How's it going, buddy? Give me a meow if you want to stay. Tomo. In the comments, you're like, oh, this guy's going to lose it again. Not going to happen. 100% win rate. Get ready. I mean, Tech Point 5 is a huge item for us to pick up as well. How was this dude getting hit? Oh, Succubus has a larger hitbox than I expected. Tomo, you are free. I give you license to leave. On the surface, you look at this and you go, easy. 9 volt, but I think 9 volt is actually wrong uh, because it takes forever to get a secondary charge off of uh, Guppy's head in 9 volt or any item and any, any one charge item in 9 volt. And to be real with you, we should be killing enemies so quickly that they never get a chance to get another set of flies. So um, I think that it's in our best interest to actually go for PhD and then try to make good pills happen for us. You know, one balls of steel. Just renews all the confidence that we have in this run. So, Friends Till the End is pretty good. Infested is pretty much the same. So, uh, I'm, I'm happy with that. We are up against a champion right now, which scares me a little bit. We got through it. Uh, Ultra Pride could easily hit me twice. I do want to point that out here. We will definitely take the left hand because I could use Spirit Hearts. And I, I feel my Isaac Fu coming back here. You know, we, we let it get away from us a little bit. 
But now we're going to start making some good plays. And the first good play that we're going to make is we're going to come this way. And we're going to... Uh, we're going to go into the mob trap room. And we're going to teleport out of it after we get our rewards to go into the emperor. Or into the, the boss fight. We're ahead of schedule. Way ahead of schedule. As you might expect. Um, that doesn't mean we're out of the woods, but... It's okay. Just takes us that much closer to HP. Ah, but I don't even want the D20. I'm still going to use the Emperor just because I don't want to accidentally walk on spikes. And thankfully, Curse of the Maze saw fit to completely fuck me over. Alright, let's do this. This is a moment of truth for sure. Apparently, there is no boss to fight. There's no boss on this floor. I'm sorry to inform you. The adversary ain't no joke, dog. We made it through, though. HP. HP. We got HP. That's all we needed. We're headed down to the next floor. My apology no longer falls on deaf ears. We're in a relatively safe position uh, with 2 HP. So maybe not as safe as I would like. Red chests have to be opened. Pheromones. Worthwhile if we fight like certain bosses. Wow, I spawned inside of that enemy and he's going to give us a bunch of gold. But we very nearly got fudged. Uh, other one. Tears up. Lovely. Let's slow it down a little bit. I'm going a little too fast on this run. We don't need to be this frenetic. You know, our fundamentals are completely taken care of. And by that, I mean we have a lot of damage. Which is not really the same as saying our fundamentals are completely taken care of. Because our HP sucks. But we have enough damage to be like, yeah, 2 HP is totally enough to win the run. It's not nearly as much as I'd like. But it is enough to get the job done in a pinch. I agree. Preparation H does feel good on the whole. Either way. Um, I mean, all signs are pointed to this being the secret room, so let's give this a try. Hoping for greed. Either way, doesn't matter too much. Our pill is perks, which is probably better than pheromones for rooms that have champions. It might be one of the few times we're actually able to use perks uh, effectively instead of just like, oh, perks, and then you never see it again for the whole run. Two more keys. Come on now. Now, one of my uh, bad habits here is definitely like running into enemies with mom's knife instead of just shooting with it. The reason I do that is just because uh, it, it's a bad habit, basically. You know, you, you get frustrated because you're missing enemies with mom's knife, like you're overrunning them with the knife. And then you go, wouldn't it be just easier if I walked into them? Yeah, but it's not worth it. In a perfect world, that would be the right way to do it, but we live in an imperfect world. And... As a result, Dr. Pangloss, I would very much like to not take random spirit hearts of damage uh, by being an idiot when it's avoidable. Good stuff. Yeah, you know what? We will take Eve's Mascara. I think this is one of the rare situations in which Eve's Mascara is actually like a super good upgrade for us. It's just going to double our damage and we may not even notice the rate of fire... Uh, decrease after we get used to it. So this is like what Eve's Mascara was made for. In my opinion, at least. Easy enough. Of course, there's exceptions to every rule. That was a very easy room to just hit the enemies with. Tomo wishes to re-enter the room. You know what? How am I supposed to win Isaac without my little buddy here? Even though he's a bad luck charm and I lost the last run, I'm not going to put that on him. I'm not going to put that evil on my little feline friend. The little feline friend makes me sick. After I get sick, I just get sad. You know, hold steady. Grab this. Grab that. Mom's knife brimstone. How could you not? Especially with sad bombs. Uh, you know what? We definitely want a three cent pill. Speed upgrade's not bad. One cent for the road, and our donation machine broke. Cool guys don't look at explosions. Yeah, okay, so this is a... It's a classic Neo synergy. By which I mean, it's new, but we've had it enough that I like it. And I'm thinking with sad bombs, it'll be hilarious. We probably had that interaction before, and I'm just forgetting, but... Each bomb should be, like, ridiculously good now. I'm not gonna use them yet. I'm gonna wait till there's a moment of extraordinary relevance. Take the Polaroid. You know what? I think we take the soul and we fight every enemy. The soul gives us enough HP to live through this and it gives us a good item to begin with. I'm thinking that, uh, you know, our damage is so good. 
that this is actually... Like, it would be not sensible to not do this. Let's try a sad bomb. Oh, that's the ticket. Okay. If only we could guarantee ourselves some more bombs. Like, even via a bomb bag. As long as we used it sparingly, I'd be pretty happy with it. Come on, dude. You stand no chance. Let's not get ridiculous here. Easy boss rush finish, and we have pulled out a little bit of zaniness on a run that for a little while looked like I might just throw in the trash for pretty much no conceivable reason. Now, the right way to handle this room is not the way I'm doing it right now. It's this way right here. Stand behind cover. You can get hit by beams, but not bullets. And then just throw in shots, um, preferably ones that are fully charged, although that's going to be uh, somewhat difficult thanks to the Ease Mascara pickup, hilariously enough. The one that I was so excited about. I forgot we have Succubus as well, just, you know, doing work for us over there. Let's wait for the charge. I don't even know what enemy I'm fighting. I heard one. Oh, I actually thought it was the Maw, based on the sound. Alright, let's land this one. He jumped. The dirty dog. You're not supposed to be able to use verticality. Save some wide direction for the rest of us, please. You're not supposed to be able to teleport either. And by not supposed to, I mean like you super are supposed to be able to, but I wish you didn't. We need to get closer to uh, the Forsaken here. Yeah, I had a feeling that was going to happen. When the heck... First off, thank God for uh, Midas Touch saving me from imminent damage there. But when the heck did we get uh, Revenge Fly? This is like 150 floors ago or something. That was dumb. I thought I got out of the way, but it's on me either way. Now this is a run we can get Strange Attractor on. I don't know. Is it worth standing right next to enemies? It seems like my previous strategy was working. It's just very, very mildly slow compared to the strategy of standing right next to enemies that is much more dangerous but gets the job done slightly faster. Mongo baby. It's okay. We'll head down. No. Oh, there is a Tinted Rock. Let's get out of that habit of not catching Tinted Rocks. One Spirit Heart is worth way more than one bomb right now. Okay, 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 okay. Womb one. That's where the game has begun. It's the consolation round, and you lose it when you're done. Not, you know, it's classic OG GameSpot references. I have no desire to take damage. What are we missing from a uh, guppy standpoint? Two guppy items, I think. So it'd have to be like one hell of a deal with the devil to, to persuade me at this moment. I will say, though, if I could get like 20 bombs, I would love to do the hush fight. Even as I leave behind a penny, I would love to do the hush fight. Whether or not that's actually valuable... I know there's a tinted rock there, by the way. Um, is debatable, but I think that this one would actually be a fun opportunity to do the hush fight at the very least. Which is a rarity in this line of work, I'll tell you that much. Easy floor. Haven't taken any damage. Most floors should be easy. And it's Mr. Fred. Long time no see. Just kill him and not have to worry about his minions. Perfect. Mr. Dolly should give us at least one heart. And give us two that we can actually use here. And the shovel. Okay. Easy choice to not do that. We really have no form of mapping. For some reason, I guess I'm I'm still like half of my brain still exists in the last run, which I think is very sensible. Like you guys got to remember, for you, these runs are all coming out at the same well, not at the same time, but they're they're coming out a day apart. So if you're watching them roughly as they come out or on the same schedule every day, your mind is cleared. You know, you've you've gone to school, you've had a full day, you've slept, you've eaten a few meals. For me, it's like episode, 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 and. You know, you can talk about the merits or dismerits of that. Demerits? Demerits. Of that uh, as much as you want. But the fact remains, my mind is still somewhat flooded with the, the serotonin of the last one. So it takes you a little bit of a, you know, like an Isaac uh, hangover to get out of that situation. Are we going to fight Hush with four bombs? I'd honestly say no. We'd get two items. And then more if we wanted to blow up our donation machine, probably. But, um... Well, maybe if there's a guppy dream. Nope. 
Because we could, with golden chests... Oh, we already have the golden chest guppy item, so... Disregard. I don't know. I'm gonna say no for now. Even though we have perks, which effectively doubles our damage. It's more about the bombs at this point. I want to be able to use bombs a lot during that fight. And if we can't, if we're just using our knife and we're not likely to die anyway, then it's just like, you know, why bother? Not a speedrun technique, just trying to reason with myself as to, you know, what's the purpose of going to the hush fight? I want it to be fun. Is it going to be fun? No. Perks is just making it, like, mathematically better. So with no bombs, let's save up and instead of, you know, blowing half of our bombs on the same enemy, or all of our bombs on the same enemy, we'll use all of our bombs uh, on the chest instead. Maybe we'll get some more bomb synergies, we'll have more fun with it, but this run, at least, like, since the, since Boss Rush came and we picked up the soul, we were set. I don't know if we've been hit since then, honestly. We've, like, really just been killing enemies non-stop. And of course, as soon as I call it a one run, what do we have but a double key room? And it is a six room. Let's first see if we can become Guppy before we reroll the chests. Will I reroll this run? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Take the pills first in case they're good. Reroll everything. We're so fast. We have chocolate milk Dorito tears. Really? I gave you gold. You gave me chocolate milk Dorito tears. We have an extra life here. Um... It's Lazarus Rags again. All right, I mean, I'll, I'll own up to this one. This one's a bummer. I really thought that we'd get... We had cool synergies, and I guess that predisposed me to a logical fallacy to think that we'd be more likely to get cool synergies as a result of having cool synergies. And that's not the way that went down at all. That's a bummer. Mind you, certainly things are more in question now than they were previously. And the run's not bad. We, we do have Explosivo or at least, like, Fruitcake going on. Bracano's not bad. Obviously, we want the Spirit Heart. And we still have the Guppy Dream. Potentially here. I don't know how Chocolate Milk Cursed Eye works with itself. We know that... Oh, God, I took it by accident. We know that's a Perks Pill. Yeah. Um, and a Perks Pill could be really good on the Isaac Fighter on the chest. We also have Rodden Baby. And there's nothing wrong with Rodden Baby. If Rodden Baby's wrong, I don't want to be... Freaking right. Might be one syringe away from spun as well, which is pretty good. I think either way, we should definitely... Nah, it's not that valuable. I think we should go fight uh, the boss in the secret room. There's a chance you get nine lives out of it. You know, there's a chance we can get a couple of good things. I'm. Uh, don't forget to drop the left hand as well. He said as if the comments weren't shouting it from the rooftops. Baby, I'm ready to go. Right, cursed eye. All right. Well, that one's on me. We have money now that I'm not going to use. Uh, we don't have special bombs anymore, unfortunately. We're probably one away from Beelzebub, too. That was a bummer. The Fool? Not worth it. Okay. I think we may pop perks against Isaac. The problem is if I do that, I know, like, because I know thyself, I'm more likely to just jump in there and start doing stupid, uh, you know, like, sacrificial dagger damage. So, I'm actually going to hold perks to serve as, like, a little bit of a deterrent. So that I don't do that. Can we get five fully charged shots thanks to Cursed Eye? No, it just does, like, one in a little bit tiny shots. I think. Uh, I don't know. Some of them seem to be getting bigger over the course of that. And you know what? Sometimes your bad ideas are your best ideas. Sack Dagger. With one damage taken and holding on to perks might be the proper way to get out of this circumstance. You know, with the lowest possible body count. Calling all cars. Get in there for a little bit of damage, then get away because you don't want to get caught by an explosive shot from Firemind. I don't know what the heck was going on there. And that seems relatively good. Now we have the mind. As long as we don't get a curse, we will be able to see where we're going. We have a life in case we die. We got no curse. That's good. I did drop the left hand. It wasn't me. It was the left hand. Uh, that's real bad. But you know what? If you're going through hell, keep going. Let's become Guppy. 
We did get Guppy's Collar, which could be a run saver. I would like it to have to be a run saver at this point, so that we are vindicated for our terrible mistake. But no, you know, I've, I've made that mistake so many times in the past. Sometimes it works out despite being a mistake, and sometimes it doesn't. You just gotta, you gotta roll with the punches. That one's a bummer, because I even said, hey, don't forget to drop the left hand. And then I forgot to drop the left hand. But, uh... I, uh, I'm a big boy. Mistakes were made. I don't think anyone over the age of, like, 17 should ever say I'm a big boy. It just comes out wrong. Because when someone says I'm a big boy, even if they're an adult, you can't help but picture them as, like... It's, maybe this is just me. I can't help but picture them as, like, a baby with that adult's face. It's just something... They've, they're, like, infantilizing themselves in a way that makes me very uncomfortable. Awas rune, totally worthless. Gotta admit though, this floor's been great so far. No real major concerns. No chess, unfortunately. We do have piercing shots, and on a room like this, piercing piercing shots, piercing shots, piercing shots really get a chance to shine. Like a collective soul song from the mid 1990s, early 19. I think that's a mid 90s song. I can't believe some of these enemies have not even been, like, taken into their second phase yet. That's amazing to me. Troll Bomb. Lovely. Good item. Great choice. Keep it up. I'm proud of you. Get out of here. Okay. That was a great time for Holy Light. We're still high on HP. We got perks for the Blue Baby fight. What could be greater? Just no teleportations. You know, Darth Vader said the Boba Fett, no disintegrations. This is me saying to myself, no teleportations. Rune bag. It's giving us algiz. Um, which I guess we should just use instead of perks. And algiz is like definitely guaranteed to give us the win, so you gotta admit, that would have been real sweet. Check this shit out. World's greatest genius. Okay, uh now don't get hit. <laughs> That's the idea, anyway. Come on. We, I'm gambling on algae's lasting long enough for us to finish this room. The, the, the Incubus pickup was just to be stupid. And it worked. Hey, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.